one of the reasons why we picked Unreal to use over something like Marmoset is because doing these type of scenes where they've got the an open end, it can make lighting them quite tricky, especially if you've got an external light source. So in this example here, what I've got is I've just cut the end off my model and basically put this directional light here. Um, and as you can see, that light is basically pushing light through this window and through this doorway. But the issue you've got here is that it's very easy for this light. This directional light is just a parallel light. So this is light that's just kind of going in this general direction, which means it should come through here as well. And you don't want that because you want this to look like it's lit, like it's an interior. So to be able to do that, you need to create light blockers. Uh, so these are basically what, what they sound like. They're just pieces of geometry that are designed to block the light. Um, so I've got this kind of set up how I want. If I build the lighting for this now, got some errors, but essentially it's this is light outside and it's still quite dark inside. If I play it, my character can run around in the shadows and in the light. This is a good result. I mean, it's not perfect. There's some bits over here which aren't quite right, but that's just because I did this quickly. So what is it that's doing that? Well, if I just show you, it is... I have this folder here that's hidden, which are these two pieces of geometry. Um, this is massive just because I haven't scaled it down. But essentially, if you imagine the light directions coming from here, their role in this thing is, well, if I move them, you can see. Um, I'm going to move the light as well to make it dynamic again. If I move these, you can see that they just start letting the light in. So this is what you would be getting without them. Uh, so all this light would be spilling over, which is what you don't want. So basically by placing these bits of geometry in here, we're able to block out this light. These are just, all I used here was just this cube mesh. I just took it in and scaled it to fit. But well, you can make custom geometry and really this bit here is probably going to need a bit of custom geometry because I'm just floating these above, but you can actually sit these tight onto these models. The only thing with that is you get no light at all on the tops of the surfaces, which you may not want. When you've done that, you've created these blocks. What you need to do, you just need to set up a couple of parameters in them. So if we go into here, uh, we need to set them to, under rendering, the actor hidden in game. So this means when we go to hit play, they disappear. The other thing is if you're working in here and you hit G, which hides all the game stuff, it hides those also, which is useful. The other thing you need to have set is you obviously the they need to be set up as normal to be able to do shadows but one thing that's going to be useful to have is under the lighting area is to switch this hidden shadow on which is if it says here if true the primitive will cast shadows even if hidden be hidden is true uh, controls whether primitive should cast shadows when hidden. So this basically means it will still cast shadows even when it's hidden. And that means that the two things that it does is, uh, in fact if I switch it off, is it will work hidden with dynamic lighting. So if I bake this now, this should bake okay. See, it baked fine. The problem will be when we go to play it. See, our character's really light. So our character's been lit. It's ignoring this block. So anywhere where the lighting's a bit dynamic, it doesn't like it. So we don't want that. If we set this to hidden shadow, to on, and I hit play now, he's in shadow all the time until you see stick his head there where the light's coming through 
so that's what we want but also the useful thing about that is now that if you get if you put these into a folder and hide them they're there all the time and you can quite happily work with G on or off doesn't make any difference and every time you go to bake now those are hidden if I hit bake baking done and as you can see all that stuff's fine